two and one. That is all. Oh, I'm gonna give you a little snow sweat. Angel. What is going on my friends? Welcome back to another Wednesday, which means it is workout Wednesday. So I don't know if you can tell, but I'm already a little bit sweaty. Right now I'm incorporating 1000 jump ropes a day for five weeks straight. I'm currently on day three. So I kind of got a little appetizer for today's workout. But with the program that I'm doing right now, I'm implementing a HIIT workout every other day. So today for my own plan today, we're gonna implement the exact workout that I'm doing for my plan right now for this week one. So what it's gonna be is gonna be a one-to-one -one work to rest ratio. So what that means, we're gonna take one exercise at 30 seconds and then rest for the same time. So we're gonna get a little bit longer rest time, but that just means we gotta go a little bit harder during the exercise. So what is that gonna help you with? It's gonna help you with muscular endurance, toning up. You can do this from anywhere at home. It's gonna be 20 minutes long, 10 exercises, two times through, and that might be a little bit of a spoiler for you, but because sometimes you don't like to know that. But once we get to that 10th exercise, we're gonna wind up back at number one, all the way back to 10, then we'll call it quits. Let's have some fun. But before we get going, make sure you like this video, comment, maybe what you wanna see more of, maybe where you're lacking, something that you wanna see, I'm here to help. I'm here to put more workouts out for you. I love doing it. And don't forget to subscribe. And once you've subscribed, hit the bell icon so you can be the first one to get my videos. Let's get into it. Grab your timer, we're going 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off. Let's do it. All right, my friends, on my watch, we're gonna go with a jack up to start. Three, two, and one. We're gonna go fist together, up, up, up. Just like a jumping jack, fist together. Every time we spread out, hands are going straight up. Trying to keep that core tight. Going for 30 seconds. Breathing in through the nose, out through the mouth. Get into a good rhythm here. Four, three, two, and one, rest. Easy first 30 seconds. Shake it out if you need. Really focusing on the breath this time. Not this time, pretty much the whole time. But breathing in through your nose, out through your mouth, it's gonna help you get through this a little easier. Next one we got is just gonna be a regular alternating lunge. We still got 12 seconds. I'm gonna face this way. I really want you to focus on coming back through the, the back toe and pushing up through that front heel, kind of pulling yourself up. Here we go, and alternating, boom, boom. Alternate, reach through the back toe. Be forceful, try to go as fast as you can once you get that movement down, trying to think about everything's at 90 degrees here. <sighs> opposite arm, opposite leg, kind of like you're running, just a little more elongated. Got six seconds left, here we go, keep it going. And rest. Good, 30 seconds. That one feels good, feels good. Uh, squat jumps, that's the next one just to prepare you mentally. Squat jump, just gonna be like an air squat, except we're gonna explode up through the toes. If you can't go all the way up and you don't want the impact, just go into a squat and just come up onto the top, tippy toes, really be explosive there. I'm gonna be jumping up and down, make it through the full 30 seconds, here we go, and squat jumps. Good sink, good jump. Breathing out with each jump. Six seconds. And rest. Oh yeah, I wanna get you burning. That one will get you burning. Shake it out, shake it out, shake it out. Whew. Oh yeah, grab your water also if you need it. Probably gonna need it, we're only on minute three. That's a little negative. Won't be so negative. Next one, we're going back to a jack variation. So it's gonna be a seal jack. We've done these before. 
it's the same idea as the jumping jack, the jack ups. We're just going basically like a reverse fly. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Keep that core tight. Trying to stay on the balls of your feet as much as you can. Keeping the core tight. Here we go, chest up. Five, four, three, two, and rest. I felt like a starfish right there when I ended. Kind of looked like a starfish with these neon green orange shorts on. Hey, that's all right. Going into alternating lateral lunges here. Lateral lunges are great for this upper portion of your bootay. Up in that glute, really sink into it. Kind of a mobility exercise as well. Not really, but kinda, because you get some good range of motion. But we're gonna do this in three seconds, two and one. Come up with the knee, glide out, boom, come back up. Excuse me, this was supposed to be alternating. So I'm gonna go one, two, three. Kind of get in the middle here. We're gonna do an extra five seconds because I jacked that up. We'll get it right on the second time ago. Coming to the middle, up, out, glide out. Five more seconds, two, one, and boom. We'll just cut that into our rest time for the next one since Nicholas can't get it together. Next one, we're gonna go inchworms. It's just like that hand walk out to push up we did a few weeks back in the 15 minute high intensity, except no push up. So I'm gonna put this little thingy down. Hopefully you can still hear me. We're gonna start standing up. Take the hips down, here we go. Hands down, boom, to the feet. Walk it out like an inchworm. Boom, walk it back. Feel the hamstrings tug, squeeze the glutes. Down again. Oh, I wanted to push up. Squeeze, get it going here. Really think about that core, leading yourself on the way up. You can get some core work in here, all the way through. And two, and one, boom, done. Give me this mic. Going to plank jacks, we're gonna be in a high plank, right here, hands underneath the shoulders, keeping the core tight by squeezing your bum. Through there, we're just gonna take our hands, just like a jumping jack, except our hands are staying stationary, out. Out, out. Here we go, we got six seconds. I'm already sweating. Sweating like a pig. It's all right, here we go. And one, here we go. One, two, three, four. Trying to stay on your toes. Really feel those obliques. Feel the shoulders stabilize all the way through. Don't let your butt come up too much. You got 12 seconds. Five, two, and one, rest. Good stuff, next one's not gonna be so much movement. We're going to that beast position, also used in a couple workouts back. These are a couple good workouts to incorporate together. If you want a little bit more fun in your life, maybe go four times a week at home if you don't have any equipment. Alternate, like a Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. That doesn't make sense. All right, here we go. Peace position, knees hovering, everything's underneath. We're just tapping the shoulders. Nice and controlled, keeping everything in line. Those knees are under the hips. Trying not to rock back and forth, just swaying. We're gonna try to keep them all intact. Think about your hips being concrete and the only thing that's moving is your hands. Try to keep those knees slightly off the ground too to where you could fit a piece of paper as close to the ground as possible. Core should be burning and rest. That was the quickest 30 seconds of my life. Woo. Reverse crunches are next. So I'm gonna go ahead and have a seat. For these reverse crunches, you can go hand, hands under your bum if you would like. If not, that's okay. If you hear any weird noises, because my back is sweaty on the ground. 
you'll probably know what I mean once we get going. Reverse crunch, we're gonna take the knees to the chest, point the toes up, and then control down to six inches. Here we go. One. Boom. Oh, there's a weird noise. Literally sounds like I need to go to the bathroom. And rest. Woo. Oh, yeah. Kind of felt like Spider Man right there. Last one of the 10, 10 exercises, 10 of 10, as we approach the 10 minute mark. The good mark, the halfway mark, because it's all downhill from there. We're going plank froggers. So it's gonna be high plank froggers, just like those plank jacks, except we're crunching the knees, kind of like the reverse crunch. Here we go, two, one, here we go. Just taking the knees up, back, up, back, up, back, up, back. Don't forget to breathe, get in a nice rhythm. Feel that core kind of tuck underneath, being springy with your toes. Extend it all the way out. 10 seconds. And rest. 30 seconds, we'll go back into our jack ups. Get some water if you need it. I know I do. Shout out to Performix, code Nick30. Whatever supplements you want, that's what I use at least. Oh yeah, control the breathing. Slow in through the nose, slow out through the mouth. Here we go, jack ups. Two, three, four. Staying on your toes. More tired we get, the more fun it gets. Mental battles is where we get the endorphins. And rest. Good stuff, my friends. If you're one to count down, like I am, I see the end in sight. Alternating reverse lunges. We got 20 seconds till we start those. Getting the burn going. Sweaty as freaking ice. That's melting? Yeah, I don't know. Reverse lunges, here we go. Two and one. Getting back to 90 degrees, boom. Now that you know the movements, really try to push yourself with that pace. Come on, four, not four, and rest. 30 more seconds of glory, something like that. I think if I put my back up against this wall, I'd make a sweat angle. We are going into squat jumps. In my opinion, this is the hardest one, which is okay. Just accept the thought that it's gonna be hard. And get you gotta do, finish it all the way through, make sure you're doing the exercise all the way through. Here we go. Digging deep. Halfway there, over halfway. Two, and one, and rest. Oh yeah, think about it. You don't have to do those again. Actually, you never really have to do anything you don't want to do. But that's also part of the fun, this whole thing. The more you don't want to do something, the more rewarding it is when you get done. It's kind of why I fell in love with fitness, honestly. I feel like this is a podcast. 
just in a workout. <sighs> Going to steel jacks. Remember, just like the reverse fly, trying to pull those elbows back. Here we go. Sticking with it. Thinking about keeping that core tight, the more tired we get. Stand on the toes, finish it out. Two and one and rest. Heck yeah, my friends. Alternating lateral lunges. You know, whiteboard to look at it. I need a magnifying glass for my phone down there. <sighs> See if we can get this one right. Hopefully I don't slip on my sweaty back on my mat. <sighs> one to one rest ratio. <sighs> the good stuff. If you want a little higher intensity, go to two to one work to rest ratio, make it 15 seconds rest. Be a little less than 20 minutes. Here we go. Glide out, come back. Alternate, glide out, come back. Really sink into that back hip. Think about your heel and then push from the heel to your toes all the way up. Up, glide, boom, nice and controlled. Out, feeling the hips being worked, the quads, the groins, and see glutes. And freaking rest. Boom, 30 seconds. We go to inchworms, get a little break. That's it, I'm gonna put this mic down again. And we'll get into our inchworms. Throw a push up in there at the end if you're feeling it. If you're feeling frisky. Whew, we got 12 seconds. Sweating, oh my goodness. I'm gonna be see through by the end of this. That's all right. Starting lateral. Here we go, we'll get in a good groove here. Boom, up. Take the hips up, squeeze the glutes. When you squeeze the glutes, think about squeezing the core through as well. At the top, don't let your butt sag all the way down. Tap those toes with a little ambition. Boom. Come on, here we go. And rest. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. Plank jacks is next. 20 seconds. We'll rest it, get as much water as you need. If you've fallen behind for some reason, pick back up on each first of that 30 seconds. Stay with me as long as you can. Get through it. Having some fun, thinking about where you'll be in the future if this is hard. Here we go, all the way through. Control that breathing. Come on, you can do anything for 30 seconds. Here we go, all the way through. Five, four, three, two, and one, and rest. Boom, we got three exercises left, and we'll be able to finish it out. Stand up tall if you're out of breath. There's a whole myth that you can keep your hands on your head, open up your lungs. I'm a believer that that kind of works. I won't dive into the crazy science of it yet, but just taking big deep breaths in through your nose, out through your mouth, and getting ready for that next one mentally. You can do it. Be shoulder taps, keeping that core super tight. Here we go, and up, tapping those shoulders nice and controlled. Shoulder stability, core stability, trunk stability, all of it. Come on, five seconds. And rest. Good stuff, my friends. Reverse crunches to end it. Not to end it. To end being on the ground, essentially, for those froggers. Two left. Two left. Feels good. Feels good to do something different than just my 
weightlifting and isolation in my new program. Which, by the way, I'm super sore from. You wanna check it out? It's on my app, nickwalkerfitness.app. Here we go, into the back. Reverse cringes, sorry, I'm all over the place. Oh, the weird noise is coming. This is vulnerability at its finest. These noises. Crunching it up. 10 seconds left. Oh, it's easy. Come on. It's easy. I'm gonna do an extra one because I got going late. Nice loud sound for you. Whew. High plank froggers. Stand it. Good job, my friends. Finish it out, you got one last 30 second bout of fun. 10 seconds, whatever you gotta do to prepare mentally. Get those hands under the shoulders to start. Here we go in five seconds, four, three, two, and one. Crunch into the chest. Nice and stable, being springy all the way through. Extend, crunch, extend, crunch. All the way through, 10 seconds. Two and one. That is all. I'm gonna give you a little snow sweat. Angel, let's see what it looks like. That's not a masterpiece at all. Here we are, me and my friend, Nick. Nick, how was it? Yeah, 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 yeah. That was brutal, but it was good. It's nice to mix that in with my own workouts. I hope you enjoyed it. I love getting the heart rate going with anything body weight. Our bodies are pretty incredible things. So, like I said, if you don't have any equipment at home, these are perfect workouts. If they're a little bit too much intensity, let me know. I'm gonna start working on some videos with some modifications up in the right-hand corner so that you can do both ways and progress that way. If you like this workout, don't forget to like, comment what you wanna see more of, subscribe, hit the bell icon to get my notifications. And if you wanna follow along with the exact workout that I'm doing, go to www.nickwalkerfitness.app. Get all my programs, nutrition guides. I'm actually coming out with my cookbook soon. Be on the lookout for that in November. And with that being said, I'll stop rambling on so I can try to catch my breath. Have an awesome freaking day and I'll see you next time. And don't forget to smile.